Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In this video, we will be studying about the distance in time graph in your chapter motion in time. Now see, there are two types. When your vehicle is moving in a uniform motion and when it is moving in a non-uniform motion. Now let's see how to make the distance in time graph with the uniform motion. Now let's say the time. It's 9 a.m. in the morning, then 9 5, then 9 10, 9 15, 9 20 a.m. Right now, the odometer reading. Let's say the odometer reading was 5605, then 5610, then 5615, 20. 5625. So distance in kilometers, if I say is covered, see at 9 the autometer reading was this, so no distance has been covered, 0. Then from 5605, after 5 minutes, it moved uh, to the 5 kilometers, so 5. Then again, from here to here, it moves to 10 kilometers. Then after 15 minutes, from 9 if I talk about, it has moved to 15 kilometers. And if I talk about uh, on 9.20, from 9, it has in total travelled a kilometer of 20 kilometers. Now if I say, in 5 minutes, time interval, It has travelled 5 kilometers again, it has travelled 5, 5 and 5. So there was a constant distance that was covered. So this is a uniform motion. In every 5 minute, 5 kilometer is being covered. In every 5 minute, 5 kilometer is being covered. So let's plot this on a graph. This is how you make the graph. You have done the bar graphs in uh, chapter uh, in your 6th standard mathematics. You can go through the 6th standard mathematics uh, data handling video in order to understand the bar graphs and the graphs on x axis and y axis. On x axis, we will be taking time, and on y axis, we will be taking distance 9 am, 9, 5 am, 10, 9, 10 am, 9, 15 am, then 9, 20 am. 5, 10, 15, 20. Now it moves on with this. Then at 9.15 it covered 10 kilometers. At night 10 it covered uh, 15 kilometers. And 9.15 it covered uh, 20 kilometers. Sorry, we will be taking 9 here. 9 then 9, 5, then 9, 10 and so At 9, there was no distance covered just because you started your car. At 9, 5, you covered a distance of 5 km. At 9, 10, again, you covered a distance from 9, 5 to 9, 10, 5 km. Again, 5 km, again, 5 km. So, in total, from 9 am to 9, 20 am, you covered a distance of 20 km. So the straight line, these points A, B, C, D, the straight line shows the uniform motion that your body is moving in a, at a uniform rate. Now see, now we will make a distance and time graph for a non-uniform motion where the uh, you know vehicle is not covering the same distance with the same time. Now there is a time interval of every 5-5 five, five minutes. Now let's see how much distance has been covered. Here 0 distance is covered. And after 5 minutes 2 kilometers are covered. After 10 minutes if we take total 5 kilometers are covered. After 15 minutes from 0 to 15 how many total kilometers are covered? 6. Then after 20 total 10 kilometers are covered. Now after that, in from 9, 5 a.m. to 9, 10 a.m., how much difference is there? 3 kilometers is covered. From 9, 10 to 9, 15 a.m., 
2 km is covered then again from 9:15 to 9:20 am 4 km is covered and it's 1 km not 2 km because uh, 5 6 3 6 minus 5 6 3 5 is 1 km right so 1 km is covered now we have taken out that in 5 5 minutes how much distance have been covered by the vehicle now let's plot this on the graph on x axis we will take time and on y axis we will take distance now we started from 9 am then at 9 5 we noted down the uh, meter reading after 9 10 then 9 15 then 9 20 right 2 4 5 6 8 and 10 at 9 km if uh, at 9 am if i talk 0 km is being covered at 9 5 the car moved by 2 km at 9 10 the car moved by 5 km somewhere here between 4 and 5 at 9 15 the car moved to 6 km at 9 20 the car moved to 10 kilometers now this is how the car moved now the there is not the uniform distance that is being traveled by the car in 1 5 minute it is traveling only 2 kilometers in other 5 minutes it is traveling 3 kilometers other 5 minutes 1 kilometer and then other 5 minutes 4 kilometers now in order to make graph we always take x axis a uh, time on x axis and distance on y axis we will plot the time and we will plot the distances and we will plot the points on the graph now i hope you have understood how to make the distance and the time graph if you have any doubts any questions do write me down in the comment box i will help you out with your problems and please download the scholars learning app